following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Welcome to Fairy Tale Access, where the head fairy's quest is to prove that fairy tales do exist in actual time rather than once upon a time. Together, we will unravel the heroes, young and old, who turn dreams into reality. These are the people who still believe in happily ever after. The discoveries will bend even our most cynical non-believers into believing in fairy tales. Hi, welcome to Fairy Tale Access. Today, my special guest came in about a 40 minute ride to an hour, and his name is Dominic. And he's going to be a future actor that you're going to see a lot of. So, Dominic, thank you for joining me. You're very welcome. So, did you have a nice ride up? I did. How long did it really take? It took about 40, 45 minutes. Wow, that's not too bad. What did you do in the car to keep busy? Um, I slept. You slept? Yep. So now you're ready for me? Yes. I, I have am. tons of questions. Okay. All right. So first, you want to be an actor? Yes, I do. How did you come to that decision? I came to that decision because when I, when I was six, I started my first play, and I felt like I re I really liked it. Wow. And. And now I feel, and I, and now I, and now I'm older, and I've kept kept on doing plays in my life, and now right, and at this moment, right now, I feel like I can become a future actor. Wow! And how old are you now? Nine. Nine. So you have three years of experience. I do. What type of acting have you done? I've done um, regular acting. I've done like like plays mm -hmm. and stuff like that, pretty much. What's your favorite play so far? My favorite play was when I was about seven years old and I was doing a George Washington script. You did a George Washington script? Yes, I did. How was it? It was pretty good. Do you remember any of your lines? Unfortunately, I don't. What did you like about playing George Washington? I liked because um, well, what I really did like was that everything that I did really, I actually felt good when I was when I was doing it because I I re, I um I remembered all of those verses for only three days until the play started for only three days, and that, and then on that final day I remembered everything and I did it. Wow! How long was the play? About an hour and a half. You remembered lines to fit into a show that was an hour and a half long? Yes, I did. And you only had three days to study? Yep. Wow. Excellent memory skills. Thank you. How do you do in school? I do actually very good. But um, a lot of the time, I, I just, I, a lot of the time, this might be bad, but I don't necessarily listen to the teacher a lot. I just figure it out myself and instead of her telling me, you do this, I just, I just write it down and I'm done and she's still talking. Wow. So you're pretty smart. I am. So school's not hard enough for you yet? No, but fourth grade might be a challenge for me now. hope so. Mm -hmm. That way you don't get bored in school and doodle? No. Do you doodle? No. No? What's your favorite subject? My favorite subject is probably math. Math? Because I learn more things from math. From math. What do you learn from math? I right now I'm learning. Um, I'm probably going to be learning division and um, multiplication, and um, now even more that I don't even know about yet. Wow. Do you use math every day? Do you think? Yes, I actually do. How so? I I use the comp I use the laptop and I do like math games sometimes. Oh. And and then I start to get smarter and smarter until sometimes 
I just don't want to do it anymore. And, I, and then now it's only 10 or 9 more days until I go back to school. Great. So hopefully they'll have some new challenges in store for you. I understand you do a lot of sports too. What type of sports are you into? I'm into like um, baseball, t-ball, and I'm thinking of doing football, but I'm not sure yet. But I'm also leaning towards tennis. Oh, great. Because I like all those sports together. Wow, so you're versatile. You're in good shape. Yep. Can you run for a while? I can. The only downfall of it is that I have asthma. Oh. That's the only downfall of it. Does it just bother you at certain times of the year more than others? Yes, like if I'm on a field day at school, say, I'm always going to lose just because I'm running out of breath. Uh, is that just in the fall or the summer or the spring? Like almost winter? in like fall, mm -hmm. basically. Do you sneeze a lot in the fall? Um, no. Oh, that's good. The only time I sneeze is when I'm near my dog. Are you allergic to dogs? I'm allergic to long-haired dogs, but my dog isn't long-haired. Hmm. Are you allergic to anything else? Mm hmm What? Cats. Cats? That's all. That's it? Just long-haired big cats. Hmm. So I hear you're a dancer as well. I am a dancer, yes. Wow, what kind of dancing do you do? I like break dance and freestyle. Pretty much. Oh, are you going to show us some of that later? I might, yes. Okay. And but how wait. did you get... Okay, go ahead. On one condition, only if you play a music, if you can do that. Yes. Okay, we can check on that. Okay. If we can't do music, we'll have to have you come back another time. Would that be possible? That would be possible, yes. Okay. And what do you like to read when you read? I like to read, like, chapter books. Because because I like the no pictures because I don't get distracted as much. Oh, uh, so you imagine what it looks like in your mind's eye from the writer? Yep. Have there been any favorite books? Uh-huh. Which one? There's one book. It's called Bad Pets. Bad Pets? Yes. Wow, what happened in it? It's where a lot of pets misbehave and and one of them um ran away, but mm -hmm. then um but then like fifty days later or something, the, the, um, do the dog came back, but with only one leg. Oh. That was that sad? Yeah. Yes, it was. Oh, that sounds awful. No. Good thing they didn't show the picture, though. I, I wasn't going to imagine it. I know. Did you cry when you read it? A little bit. Like, I would have cried. So if somebody asked you to cry on cue for a television show or a movie, could you do that? Yes. If I ask you to cry, I'm going to feel so mean. <laughs> All right. Well, when you're ready, yes. you can just start crying. Okay. Okay. And I'll apologize. Okay. It's called improv. We'll okay. just see what happens. Okay. All right. Let's see. So acting. I still can't believe it. What other shows have you been on? Um, actually, this is my only show I've been on so far. Oh. Right now. So what other acting shows or theater have you done? I've done, um, like, just regular and... Do you remember the parts that you had in them? Some of them. I remember, like, two parts, I think. But I don't think I can rehearse them if you were saying that. Do you remember the character's name? Yes. Okay, what characters were you? I was George Washington, like I said earlier, and I was also John F. Kennedy. You were John F. Kennedy. Yes, I was. Do you like history? I do like history, too. Just like math. I also like history, learning about um, our presidents and, and everything else, pretty much. Wow. Did you find any big differences between George Washington and Kennedy? Yes. Like what? Like uh, that George Washington, he was, hmm, he was like, I can't really explain that, actually. But, um... Was it his body language that you think was different, or...? I think, yes. And what about John F. Kennedy? Well, I know a little bit more about him. Like that, um, he sent the National Guard down south to protect children that were attending university for the first time. Mm -hmm. I remember that. 
and that that unfortunately he would when he died he was only like 37 going into 40 years old about yeah that's not too old is it no it isn't hmm. and i think george washington died from age from it, age old yeah. age yeah um i think i haven't yeah. i haven't read a lot about him yet he's a pretty interesting guy he is i, I really like history too so let's see, what do you do with your friends? I usually play outside, do games with them, play video games some of the time. Like a lot of normal kids do. Really? Norm so what do normal kids do? Like normal kids usually do when I do. Like I'm a normal kid. Okay, so for when this goes online, it's seen in 59 different countries. Do you think there's anything that American kids do that other kids don't do? Yes, like American kids, they can be like free. They can do other stuff. But in other countries, they can't, they can't be free. Some of them, they have to do one certain thing every day almost. Mm -hmm. But Americans, they can do what they need. Hmm. So what kind of sports did you do last year for school? Yeah. I would act, well, sports and after school activities. What does a regular day look like for you? A regular day would pretty much look like Hmm, I'm trying to explain this in a way. It would look like get get out from school. I'd play a few games of baseball with my with my friends, and then I'd come back home, eat lunch, dinner, and then go to bed, basically. Any studying in there? Yeah. Usually when I go to bed, I read a book or two. School books? Yeah, I read, like, one school book, but then I read, um... I just read that, that um, book I talked about late. Um, with the pads? Yeah. That's awesome. What else do you like to do with your friends? Do you go bike riding? Or? Yeah, I do go bike riding. Some of the times I have races with bikes. Oh, you do? Mm hmm What is that set up like? Where do you guys race? We race down a hill, mm -hmm. pretty much. That goes pretty much, well, it goes very high. That's all I can explain it as. Very, wow. very high. So do you race up it or just down it? Up and down. Wow. It must be hard to get up if it's steep. It is. Wow. It's also made of concrete, so and, and also it's the road, so it's even harder. Because but don't you have to what? Yeah, cars. Is but, it a but we race on like, um, like the sidewalks, pretty much. And a lot of the time we turn around, we turn around, well, we turn our heads around, like. To check. Yeah. That's, that's good. Do you have other friends standing on the sidelines, clearing off the sidewalks before you guys get down the hill? Yeah. <laughs> that's good. That's good again. planning. Yeah. Just to make sure there's no cars coming. Like, yeah, he starts to race like three, two, one, go. Mm -hmm. And then we both, we both start pedaling down and whoever wins gets, um, just wins just for fun. That's awesome. So tell me about this hairdo. I like it. This hairdo, actually, I made this up myself, but this hairdo right now isn't the same one that I made up. The one I made up, sorry, um, the one that I made up is, it, it like spikes up to like right here, mm -hmm. and it stays like that. Wow, uh, so do you use gel to get it like that? I do use gel, actually quite, quite, a, quite a few gel. Well, like different kinds of gels, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Do you pick out your own clothes too? Um, some of the time I do. Yeah. Like if I'm going somewhere, like a party or or my friend's house, I pick out my own clothes. Wow! Did you pick out this shirt? It's very cool. I did pick this out. This is also this is also the same outfit that I wore to a wedding that I went to with my grandmother. Nice. Did you have a good time at the wedding? I did. Did you take attention away from the bride by dancing? No, I didn't. That's well, good. Because a lot of it I thought was very strange. Why? What was strange about the wedding? It had like 90s music all of a sudden after like they danced. It was like all 90s music and everybody started dance, dancing to it. So I just decided that I'd go in with my grandmother. Because she, she kept on saying, come on, come on, you can do it. Come on, don't be so shy. So, Are you typically shy? Um, 
You don't really seem like, shy. Like, in some cases, I'm shy. Like, if, if it comes down to I have to, like, go on a car ride all the way to Texas, then I'll be shy because I don't know what's going to happen or take a long car ride. I don't know. I hope the person that's driving is a good driver and they know right. the way to go. Right. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Mostly. So, what up? Drums. I heard about drums. Yes, I do like drums. You do like drums? Yep. Are you good at drums? I am good at drums. Did you take lessons? I did take lessons, but the instructor said I was too good for the level he might have to move, that I might have to move up two levels already. Wow. So how many activities are you doing this year? Um, you, you're taking drum lessons. Right now, the activities, I actually quit drum lessons and baseball. Drum lessons, I just didn't like. T baseball, boring. Because all I did was stay out on the outfield, do exactly nothing, just stay there like, uh. Yeah, that could be boring. What about hitting, though? Did you like hitting? Um, I wasn't necessarily the best hitter. I was the best hit pitcher, though. Oh, that's good. So what else are you going to try this year? What else I'm going to try? I'm going to try football, like I said earlier. Mm -hmm. And I'm next year I'm going to go to camp, like day camp almost. Oh. I'm doing lots of fun activities. Awesome. What else do you want to do? Um, what else I want to do? Like, who are your favorite actors right now? If you could, if there was one that you wanted to be like when you grew up. No, not not really. None. Is there any acting styles that you like? Um, I can't think of any at this moment right now, but um. Well, think about what's your favorite movie of all time. My favorite movie is probably the movie called Spirit. Spirit with with a whole bunch of horses in the movie. Oh, I nice. really like that a movie like that. Do you like horseback riding? Um, yes, I've been horseback riding once, but I'd like to take horseback riding lessons one day. Mm -hmm. Horseback riding is mm -hmm. one of my favorite pastimes. Mm -hmm. All right, so we've got football on the agenda. What about singing? Are you into singing? I'm not much into singing, but I do like listening to songs. Do you have a favorite group? No favorite group? I just like to I just like to listen to every single song. Wow. You know, Except for the nineties? Yeah. Maybe it was because they were older and that's the era that they were young Except in. one of them. I don't I don't know its name, but but it was, it was just meh. Just one song? Yeah, just that one song was just I didn't like it. Mm -hmm. So the rest wasn't too bad? No, the rest of them weren't too bad. That's good. Do you like jazz, rock and roll music? I like, um, music I like, I'm going to have to say like rock and roll almost. And like, yeah, pretty much. Hmm. All right, so let's talk about your acting abilities. Okay. Ready? Yes, I am. All right, so I'm going to give you a scenario. Okay. Um, which emotion do you want to start with? I'll start with very hap happy and like laughing. Okay, so you're with your friends. It's a really nice day. Your team won. How would you react? I would be like, yes, finally. I've been waiting all of this time and I finally won. What if you hit a home run? Yeah, and I start running. You can be as loud as you want to. I know. All right, let's see. What if your dog got hit by a car? <laughs> okay, okay, he's fine. Yay! Yeah, <laughs> you made it. Um, what else? What if something just really bizarre, and your what's your first reaction going to be? What does your face look like? Okay, and so the scene's unfolding in front of you. 
what's your expression going to be as you're watching it unfold? Like, everything's just chaotic. And like. Are you going to be looking for anything to see what's happening? No. No? You're just going to be looking at the whole scene, taking it in? Like, what is happening? If it's, like, chaotic, though. A little chaotic? Mm -hmm. Even if it's just a little. I mean, I get a little bit freaked out a lot of the time. You do? What freaks you out? What freaks me out is like when, I'm, when I let my dog outside because a lot of the time he runs away. Mm -hmm. I get like freaked out like, you better, I hope he comes back, I hope he comes back, I hope he comes back. But he always comes back, luckily. Wow. What about guitars? I do like guitar. I want to do electric guitar. But my mother wouldn't let me, unfortunately. Bummer. So Sometimes they do that I might do that when I'm older. Oh, that's good. Do you want to be in a band someday or? No. No? I just want to do my own music. So you want to be a writer of music or? Yeah, like compose? a writer. No, I want to be like a single, like single, pretty mm. much. But more acting or? Yes, like more acting movies. I want to be like in more movies. You want to make movies? Yes. So what, what type of movies do you think you'd be good in? Like action or adventure movies, pretty much. I'm not mm -hmm. good in like comedy or like that kind of stuff, but I like action and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Would you have a stunt double or would you do your own stunts like Tom Cruise? Stunt double. Stunt double? Definitely. Really? Um, yes. Um, I, I'm kind of sad to say that because I feel bad for the person that's doing it, but. But they obviously like it. Because that's what they chose to do. Yep. What about, let's see. So guitars, mm -hmm. drums, any other instruments you've tried? Piano I've tried, and that's all that I can think of. Hmm. What is that? Piano. Oh, piano. I'm sorry. Yeah. What do you think I said? <laughs> I thought you said piano, and I'm like, maybe it's something new I haven't heard of. Hmm. Mm -hmm. What's a piano? Hmm. It's a piano. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Maybe you can do comedy. Um, well, maybe. I'll think about it. Okay. Let's see. So, what about commercials? Um, I think if I'm doing a movie, I'd like to start out with, like, commercials. Like, something small first. What type of commercial would you be good at? What do you know about? I know about, like, um... Just like regular, like almost. Hmm. So, I can't necessarily think of what commercial. Do you play video games? A lot of the time, yes. Hmm. So, how would your a video commercial go with you? Like, um, like selling, pretty much selling stuff. Like, like if there's like a new action figure, say. Mm -hmm. Then I would be, and then I'd like to be on like a commercial and like start playing with it or something and start and get people to buy it. Like that kind of commercial. Oh, that would be cool. Do you like action heroes? Um, not necessarily, but some of the time. What about Legos? Do like I really do like Legos. I don't play with them much, but I do play with them. Wow. While you're in New Hampshire, you, the place to go this afternoon with your mom or your grandmother, yes. the Sea Science Museum in Manchester, it's just up the road. They really? have the world's largest Lego exhibit. It's an entire city. It's all the old mill buildings. Whoa. It, I think I'm going to go have to check that out today. You're going to love it. I mean, I had two other young reporters that came in, and they checked it out. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. It has all the little figures. I mean, it was thousands of man hours to build. There's all the old buildings. There's running water through the Legos. It's very wow. cool. I cannot believe that. Yeah. Wait, so maybe if you go see it, you can come back someday and tell us about it, maybe next month or the month after. Yeah. And they're all made of Legos? All Legos. Whoa. Yep. And it wasn't one of those planned ones. They're all reused Legos. So you know when you get those kits and you put it together mm -hmm. and it takes hours and hours sometimes? Yes. And then, you know, when they break, 
That's just horrible. Exactly. Because then you lose the book and you have no idea how to put it back together. Like, um, like, pretend I just made a giant plane like this big. I'm finally done with it. It broke, no. And I threw away the instructions and I ripped it up. Darn. Um, like, I can't put it back together because I just thought it broke. I know, but then you come up with something different and you make your own thing. Yeah, I did that once, but it didn't work out the way I planned. Oh, it didn't? No. That's bummer. I don't know how they planned all of it the way they did, but it was ama it's amazing. I, I wish I could see it right now. You'll have fun. All right, what else can we think of? Is there anything else you want our audience to know about you um, before we go? No, other than the fact that I love my family and that I couldn't have done all of this without my grandmother and my aunt that brought me here. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. They seem like really nice ladies. They are. What's fun about them? What's fun about them is that first my aunt really, she just, she's just really fun a lot of the time. And she's always like active. And my grandmother, she, she's always like go, she, she's always like, um, doing stuff for, for me and her, for herself. And she's always like getting me surprises Aww. all the time, so. That's sweet, and they seem really young. They don't seem like old. They, they do look really young. And I think it's in the mindset too. You think yeah. you'll always be young? Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully? Yeah. Does your hair turn blonder when you're out in the sun? Yeah. Do you like the beach? Yeah, I do like the beach. I might be going this week, too. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. So maybe next month or the month after, you can come over and uh, show off some reporting skills. Maybe. Take some pictures on these activities and come back and report to us, like, where's some good place just to go. Okay, and also, I also like to dress up some of the time. You do? What so, do you like to dress up as? I like to dress up, like, as multiple things. Okay. And maybe next time I come on the show or... Mm -hmm. Next time I come here, I'll bring some pictures of what I was, what I got, what I have. Okay. That sounds like a great plan. Oh, I hope it is. Yeah. Or you could dress up in character, and you could kind of report in that character style. Hmm. I'll okay. think about that, but I'm not quite sure about it yet. Okay. And you'll let me know what else you want to try? Yeah. Okay. So we have to figure out how to do maybe dancing next time. That yeah. would be cool. Pick out some music that you really like. Okay. And what else? Hmm. I think that's all that I got to talk about now. Oh, what about teachers? Do you have a favorite teacher so far? Not yet because I'm only in the fourth grade and I haven't chosen yet. Mm -hmm. Once I'm in like the fifth grade, I think I'll be choosing when I go to um, TWB, Thornton Burgess. What are some good points for teachers that are going to be starting in this September or uh, the end of August? What do they need to know about kids from K through third grade? Um, what do they need to know? That they have to go a little bit easier instead of like, do this now, or like saying stuff too fast. So Because a lot of the time um, they just say it and some people don't pay attention. So or they, they talk to, too fast. Yeah, like, nah, 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 do it. Like that. Wow, so if they explain things more thoroughly, and kind of like when you get acting lessons, yeah. and they tell you to speak slowly and yes. enunciate every word, do you think that would be helpful for teachers to know? Um, a little bit, yes. Okay. What about questions? Are they good at taking questions? Um, a lot of the time. But sometimes I act like I'm smarter than the teachers by asking some questions they don't even know. Oh, because you want to stump them or because you really want to know? Just because I really wanted to know if they knew it. Because I study my math facts all the time. Wow. That's awesome. Well, it was a pleasure meeting you, Dominic. You too. And I hope you come back soon. I will. All right. And you're going to try reporting? I will try reporting. Wait. Reporting. All right, so wherever you go on your next couple trips, take some pictures, keep notes. Okay. Come back and tell us all about it. All right. All right. Thank you for joining us, and we'll be 
right back with another young person in the area that's into a lot of different things. And take some hints from Dominic. Sports, music, dancing, he's tried it all. Just keep yeah. trying to find what you're looking for, right? Yep, right. All right, we'll see you soon. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Hi, welcome to Fairytale Access. Now, everybody wants to be on TV at some point in time or another. And at the recent Fairytale Festival, I met one of the bravest girls ever. Her name is Cassandra, and she's joining us today to tell us about what she does in the community, her experience at the Fairytale Festival. And she brought with her her special friend, who she'll tell you all about, and it's just amazing. This is a kid who can ask a lot of questions. And when you look at pictures from the fairy tale festival, she made it everywhere. How did you make it everywhere, Cassandra? And thank you for joining me. Hi, Denise. Um, well, we went to these um, fairy tale festivals every year. You have? Yeah, for two years now. And I wanted to be a water fairy because it was a water themed. So. My mother made it for me, mm -hmm. and we, I had a lot of blue beads, and we put a lot of blue beads on my um, necklace, well, not necklace, but head dress, and then all on the bottom of my dress, and then... You guys made that together? That's yes. a beautiful outfit. We baited it together. Wow. Very creative. Mm -hmm. So what did you like best about the Fairy Tale Festival? that I got to go on, go on stage with you, Denise. Really? Because you're nice. Oh, I like thanks. You. I loved having you on stage. You're really good. And you're a good reader. Thank you. And I saw pictures, so we tracked you going to quite a few different things. We saw uh, that you hung out with the mermaid. Mm, I like her. Yeah, I she was her really good. I went to last year. My wings ran away. Really? So she welcomed you in last year? Mm-hmm. And then... I saw you with the characterist. So how was that? Was she good? Oh yeah, I have I have it from the other year, and I was an autumn fairy. Oh wow! So what kind of fairy were you last the year before? Uh, an autumn fairy. Autumn. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm I only went to it like two years. That's okay. And how old are you? Eight. Eight. Mm hmm Wow. So I understand that you like to do sketching and yes. drawing. Yes, I do. And was the characterist as good as you? Is that the type of thing that you do, or are you a little bit different? All we do is just like, like characters, like animals and stuff. But she does faces, so okay. I try to do like realistic eyes, but I'm not that good. Well, it takes practice. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna show me what you brought today? Yes. Okay. Well, I brought my koala, mm -hmm. which is right there holding a branch, a baboon, a oh, bamboo. Yeah. I love the owl. They came out great. Yeah, that looks like he's drunk. What? He looks like he just woke up. But he's adorable. They all came out great. Thank you. And then that's my sheep. That's my bat. That hangs. And then that's my chicken. Wow. And then do you put them into storybooks after and write your own story about it? I try to, but I can't figure out what to write. Really? Mm. Hmm. Maybe we can work on that. Give you some ideas. Oh, can I show you? Where's the other one? Oh, the other one. We can't use the other one today because if it has too much green in it. It doesn't do have you, any green in them. Well, the yellow it, and um, different colors because we use green screen technology. I know. It's but hard. It doesn't have any green. I know, but remember we tried it on. He fixed it. No, he fixed it. He fixed this one. So oh. we can show these. Oh, this is amazing. I know it has the head of a deer, but I did a wolf. Oh, that came out great. You did this yourself? Uh, yes. No help? Do you take classes? No. I got it from my father's side. Wow, you just started? Mm, I've been doing it for like three or two years. Wow. These are really good. 
Then that's my rose. Oh, that's pretty. We can't show it because of the green. It'll look like Harry I didn't, I didn't. I didn't do that because when I got Is this it, one? That's not for me. It's not what? It's not for me. Oh, it's not? Okay. Oh, what about the fox? Those are for me. Those are you? Mm -hmm. I have to show you guys. This is amazing. Very good. Thank you. Okay, can I show you a couple more? But without green? That one's not mine. Oh. This one's mine. This one's yours? I actually do that one too. Wow. So maybe you'll be a dress designer. What do you want to be when you grow up? An artist. An artist? Like a painter. Oh. Like Monet. Really? I do his watercolors a lot. Do you like watercolors? Oh, uh, yes. But, I, but she, but my mother, um, makes me use oil paint. But that's hard to get out of your hands and not water paint. So I keep trying to tell her that I want watercolor, oil color. But do you find that watercolors blend easier than oils? Uh, yes. Really? Well, that's important. I don't really want to show this one. Okay, we don't have to show that one. But that's very good. Actually, I do. Okay. So what is, what was this one? What started this drawing? Well, I went to Mine Falls the other day and it had a river. So I just drew a river, river and then I did. Wow. And then you use a lot of different colors when you color. Mm -hmm. I did not do that one. I did my clown though, but that has green, doesn't it? Um, very little green. I think we can try it. Let's try it, because he came out cute. Very good. Okay. All right, let's talk about one other thing before oh, we run out wait, of time. Wait, 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 wait. I want to show you this one, but it has green. Oh, but it's Foxy, Tink, and the Sun Fairy. Two fairies. This is amazing. I'm going to show so it, though. You know what? I'm gonna take a picture after, and I'll post it on my website. Okay. Can I be on the show again? Absolutely. Thank you. Okay. Now, can we talk about this book and read it? Like, do we want to talk about the book, or do we want to introduce this guy? He seems kind of lonely. Introduce her. Um, this is my um, horse, oh. Rainbow Dash. Rainbow Dash. And mm -hmm. did you do it at the Build a Bear workshop? Yes. So you built her yourself. Actually, you just had to stuff it and then put a heart in it. How many of these do you have? Thirteen. Thirteen? Yes. Are they all are they all horses or? No. I have two bunnies, one dog, one bear, and a koala. Oh. Go a koala. So, do they model for you for your pictures? Is that how you sketch? Are you sketching your? Yes. I sketched my koala, but I don't have any more, of, but I don't have any of those, so. Oh, that's okay. But I was just wondering how you got so good at the detail. Yeah, um, I watched a fairy movie, so I just got it in my head, so I just drew, drew Tinkerbell, and I forgot her name, but I just called her some fairy. Oh, she's pretty. Thank you. Really good imagination. I like to say that though. Okay. Fox is cute though. I put his yeah. tail pink. Oh, I like the fox's tail pink. <laughs> pink is my favorite color. Pink is? Yes. And so purple. Tell me about the Fairy Tale Festival. What did you like the best? Besides going on stage because you were a center of attention. I loved going in the bouncy houses. Mm, those are fun. Did I'm, you get any face painting done? I wanted to, but I was so sweaty. It was really hot out. Really? So it would have just dripped off, you think? Yeah. That's what happened the last time. It just came off? Yeah. Mm. It started getting on my eyelids. Mm. What about ice cones? Did you have those? Yes, the cherry flavor. Oh, was it good? Or was it orange? I think it was orange flavor. Was it good this year? Yeah, it was good. And I had those little mini cupcakes. Those are the best. Real, those are the good. That was Triangle Credit Union, right? Yes. Yeah, they always have the best cupcakes. And they had the little, like, like um, spark. Um, oh, sprinkles. Sprinkles, yes. Sprinkles. <laughs> so I love sprinkles. I love sprinkles, too. Especially Do you like them on ice cream? Yeah. Really? So is this one of your favorite books that you brought to share with me? Yes. Why don't you tell us the title first? 
It's called Fa The Fairy Chronicles, Periwinkle in the Cave of Courage. Wow, and who wrote it? J.H. Sweet. Is it good? Yes. So far? How, now, are there a bunch of books in this series? Uh, yes, I have another one, but I decided to get this one because this is the best book. Oh, the Periwinkle in the Cave of Courage. That's the best And that's because book. she's wearing pink on the cover. Yeah, and that's a periwinkle. That's a periwinkle um, flower that she's wearing. Oh. It's the evil troll. But I so these are all flower fairies? Uh, yeah, I don't Yeah. Yes. Let's share, are we going to share a little bit with the audience about what the book is about? Well, I want to read some, but can I read a sentence and then you read a sentence? Absolutely. That sounds like a great idea. I like sharing. Let's put it here. Um, I can't. Well, we can't really move, but we'll put it here for now. So you can read your part, and then you can slide it over to me. Like this. Okay. Rosemary was also the most fragrant of the, all the fairies and smelt like a mixture of mint and pine trees. Mmm, she smells good. Okay. Helen's fairy spirit was that of a cinnabar moss. She had tall, bright red wings with sooty gray striping along the edges. Okay. Her fairy dress was made of shimmering black velvet fuzz. She, and she carried an enchanted aspen swing for her wand. Wow. Cinnabar was a thin, graceful black girl with straight, dark hair that came just to her shoulders. She studied ballet and was very elegant in appearance. And just to finish up this paragraph, it says, even though she had a quiet and reserved personality, she, too, she drew attention with her grace and beauty. I like your reading. Thank you. I like your reading, too. Do you read a lot with your family? Sometimes. That's good. Do you have any brothers and sisters? He's 18, but he doesn't. He's going to college, so. Oh, so he's a little he busy. Be, yeah, he needs to be pack, he's packing, so he doesn't read with me often. So what about school next year? Because we don't want to give away too much of the story, because Miss Sweet might not think that was sweet. Gee, <laughs> sweet. They're good. That's a great name for the author, don't you think? That writes about fairies. Yeah, it's, you did a good you did a good joke. Really? Yes. So you like my show? Mm-hmm. Mm, well, somebody else is going to be taking over, so hopefully it's going to be just as great. Well, can I watch them do it? Absolutely. And you can come on our show and tell us everything that's going on. So what are you looking forward to about fourth grade? I'm going to be homeschooled. You want to be homeschooled? Yeah, I'm going to be home. Did you, were you in regular school before? Uh, I was in Miss Birch's class, but I think that was in another state. Mm -hmm. But last year I was homeschooled, and then the last year I was homeschooled, and so that's three years. Oh, it's okay. two years before and then this year. What do you like about being homeschooled? Art. Mm -hmm. That's number one. Language arts. That's number two. And math. Wow, that's good. Number three. And then hmm, music. That's number four. And what kind of music do you like? Usually the, what are those things that you blow in and then you? Know, like a flute or the pazooka? I don't know what it is. I, I just it call is. it a flute. Oh, okay. Because you blow into it and then. Oh, and it slides? Oh, okay. We'll have to find out what that is. Or maybe you can bring it next time and play it for me. Then we'll know what it is. I think we gave them away, but when school starts, I'll have it again. It was blue, and then you blew into it, and then... Wow. So how do you make friends if you're homeschooled? Do I, when I go to the park. Oh, at the parks? Yeah. So other kids that are homeschooled, you guys all meet up and do things together? Well, some kids, they're not homeschooled. Oh, okay. So you get a good mix of friends. And then I make friends on the video chat. I'm sorry? On the video chat. We have to do it on Wednesdays. Okay. And you have and you learn math and language arts and stuff. 
Oh, wow. That's great. And then when you're waiting for Miss, I don't know who my new teacher was, but it was Mick something. I don't remember. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then. So what's a regular school day look like for you? Well, I just don't. You do all of those things in one day? Yeah. A lot of studying? I have to do a lot of reading. Really? A lot of reading. A lot. But that's good, because you learn new things, right? Uh-huh. And I got this at the library. I'm sorry? I got this at the National Public Library. Oh, you did? Mm-hmm. So is it a library book? Yeah. Oh. Let's see if I can. So you have your own library card? Uh, my grandma's. Oh. So do you like the library? Oh. Yes. Hang on, sorry. They have I. They have a circle of four iPads in one circle at the library's children's area. Really? Yes, they do. So anybody can use them. Yes. There's Is it four. Fun? Yeah, there's four of them, but you have to wait until there's one available. See, National Public Library. Oh wow, very good. Mm -hmm. I love the library. I love it too. I really <laughs> love the iPads. <laughs> really? Uh huh. And then they have like these fish. They have fish at the library? Mm -hmm. In the children's area. And then they have these wooden um, elephant carvings. At the library? Really? Behind the fish, it's like a shelf, glass shelf. Oh, wow. There's glass in front of it, and then there's a shelf. Have you ever seen one of their puppet shows? I've always wanted to, but we always miss them. Mm. You have to get their schedule online. We know where it is. It's just that we sleep in too late because some of it's at like 8 30 9 30. Mm, and on the weekends everybody wants to sleep in. Yeah. You should put that in their suggestion box. Could you start these a little later? Do they have a suggestion box? I don't think they do. Actually they yeah. don't? I think they do. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Well I would give one to the librarian. My suggestion is that you do the puppet show a little bit later. Mm-hmm. That would be nice. All right, so what else are you doing? Do you play any sports? Uh, Aren't you taking karate classes now? Yes. What do you like so far about karate? Well, I would get out of my chair, but I do a front kick and then a back kick, and then I have to go like this with a side kick. Wow. Do you think it'll be useful to you if you... Oh, yeah, and I do a... Elbow? Juggle. A what? Juggle. Can you see it louder? Juggle. But you don't really do a choco. You just, oh, a choco. You just do this over. You don't really do it. You just do it like this, and then you stomp like this when you do it. Mm -hmm. When somebody gives you a, a headlock. Um, oh, a headlock, You, you yeah. do this, and then you do on their stomach, but you don't really do it. You just go near it, and then you pretend to bite, then you do. So it's also teaching Aya. you self-defense, huh? Mm-hmm. Then, Aya. Wow. All right, so talking about fighting, because that kind of is all components of it, what do you think about bullying? Does that happen at your age? Do you I see got, it? Um, in Miss Birch's class, I was like six or five and I got bullied by a girl. Why? She just didn't like me. I don't know why. I don't know why. Cause did you stand up to her? I, did you tell her to stop? Yes. I told, the, I told the teacher, and she didn't do a thing about it. That's awful. Teachers it's, are supposed to be there to protect you. Yeah, her name was Holly, and she, was blonde, she had blonde hair. Mm-hmm. And then she... Uh, on recess, every time at recess, she kept throwing balls at the back of my back, on my back. So one day I just threw uh, two balls at her back, and then she just threw three of them at my back, and then I told the so, principal. Yeah, it's usually not good to try to fight back because then you get in trouble too, right? Well, I didn't. I just rolled a ball at her, and then oh, it hit her rolled. legs, and then she kicked it back at me, at my back when I turned. So. Not very nice. No. Nope. But see, girls like that, they don't get fairy tale access. Nope. 
girls like you? Absolutely. Because you're kind and you're sweet and you were really nice to the younger kids. You really helped them out. I was so impressed. Yeah, like a kid who got knocked down by a ball, I tried to like help him up. That They're was really sweet. Kids, like four year old. Yeah. And All the makings of a good fairy. And I um I told the principal about it and they, he didn't do a thing. And I told the teacher and she didn't do a thing. They really need to be on top of bullying in school, don't you think? Mm-hmm. Because you have to be there a lot of time. You have to spend a lot of your life there for 18 years. And, um... And then college. College is a little better. And I, um... I went to the cafeteria. Mm-hmm. And she almost threw a grape at me. But the, print, but the teacher went in there because she had her lunch break, and she said, stop. So that's, well, that's pretty good. good. Well, it's you put holly. them on guard. Good. But I wasn't doing karate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only a white belt. Well, no, but at least they know so they can be out aware of who's causing trouble because sometimes they don't know who the troublemakers are unless you tell them. Mm -hmm. like you can't make people aware of a problem unless you tell them there is a problem, yes. right? Mm -hmm. So it's good. So you would recommend to other kids in the same predicament that they should talk to an adult? Yeah. And they should tell their parents about it too, right? Yes, they should, actually. So what else did you want to talk to me about today? Are you going to try, ooh, maybe you could come back and while you're out and about checking out new parks in the area? You could take some pictures and come back and report to me about which parks have what and where some good parks are to go. Do well, you have a favorite? If I could get out of my chair, I would do the front, back, and side kick, can I? Well, today we really can't, but next time I can set it up so that we can do that for you. Thank you. Okay. When is it going to be? Let's see. We'll have to look at our schedule, but maybe October? Would that be a good time? That way it gives you a month to get prepared. How about if I work out the details with mom? Uh, you have to ask her if that's a good um, like month. Okay. But it'll be really soon. How about yes. that? Yes. Okay. It'll give you enough time to read more books, finish the series. Yes. Tell me what it's all about. Check out some new books at the library. Oh, oh, oh. Um, the next time I go to the library, I'm going to get, a, I already have a Bindi book. A oh, which book? Bindi? Bindi. Okay. Wildlife Adventures. I have the second book. It's called Rescue. Rescue? Yeah, it's Super. a horse. She's in, Aust she's in um, Africa. Oh, wow. She rescues a horse and it gets hurt from a tire. Wow, that oh, sounds no, scary. Um, actually, it was a lion. It got loose out of its cage. Oh, really? It's in strong. So do you ever watch the news? Sometimes when my father watches it. Do you ever watch it with your dad? Sometimes, but yeah. I don't like it that much because bad things happen. Yeah, well, sometimes bad things happen. Every fairy tale has obstacles to overcome, right? Mm-hmm. What else do you like to read? I like to read, like, fantasies. Like yeah. fairy tales and stuff. Oh, good. Like, what about when you grow up? What are you going to be? I already said I was going to be an artist. But besides an artist, you have to have a backup plan. But if I can't be an artist, I'll probably be like a book writer. Ooh, and if I can't good. be a book writer, I will be a teacher. Oh, I bet you'd be a good teacher. Mm -hmm. So you want to come back and try reporting for us? And telling me something that's going on in the area that you see when you're out at the parks or something. One time when my father was there, it was so snowy. What happened? It was so snowy? Mm -hmm. There was like a lot of winds and it was fall or winter. Oh, there was the like October a snowstorm? That thing was awful. We didn't have power for a week. Did you lose power? Nope. You were lucky. We lived in PA. Oh. That's where I was grown, grown up. That's where I 
was born. Um, I was the last baby that was born at the um, CMC. Oh, the Catholic Medical Center? Uh-huh. Have you, do you remember anything about the place? Um, we went there before because my father, he had like his jaw, it like out here. Mm -hmm. His teeth really hurt. Oh. Because gum. Were the, were the people nice? Uh, yeah. Some. Did they make your dad feel better? Yeah. So, so? Yeah. Some at the time. Hmm. All right. So on a happy note, what do you want my audience to know most about you? I want them to know most about me is that um, I'm a really good artist and that I want them to try new things. You want them to Cause, try new things? Because if they haven't drawn before, you, you never know if you're good or not, so you should just try it. Right, and it takes practice, right? Mm-hmm. So don't be sad if you mess up the first time. Just keep going. I think that's really sound advice. Mm-hmm. And did you join in the quest to ask questions of the businesses when you were at the Fairy Tale Festival? I don't know what the quest is. The, you don't know what the quest is. You were reading commercials for the quest. So kids have to go around and ask the businesses questions to find out what they're about. And mm. that's how they were throwing them in the chalice. Mm. So next time you'll know. I'm never trying. I'm never seeing that before. Do you like asking questions? <laughs> yeah? Do you ask a lot of questions? I don't mean to be us. <laughs> You do, or you don't? You don't mean to? I don't mean to, but I do, because I don't know that much things. That's OK. I think it's really good. You should ask questions all the time. Otherwise, how are you going to find out anything, right? I said, why do we have belly buttons in? Because that's where the cord went. Yeah. And that's, well, that's good. how you decide to get an in or an outie. But that's I, important to know. All right. Well, we're going to sign off for today. And you're going to come back and see us soon. Well, can I see um, something else? Absolutely. Well, as a fairy, I say that inside you is the power to do anything. I think you're right. You can do anything that you set your mind to. Well, I forgot to say that when I was going to tell the audience about the art. Yeah. Isn't that the premise of um, Miss Sweet's book, too? Yes. Okay. I thought that on my own. Yeah. But that just said that. It's true. Thank you for giving me this book, Mark. My pleasure. I'll get you a really cool one next time you come in. Well, can I just draw something else on it, like right here? Mm-hmm. This young lady is very good at artwork. You go. And I'd show you, but the whole cover is green. And with green no. screen technology. No, 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 you have to do it like that. Okay. See, it's the cutest smiley face ever. So until next time, keep asking questions. And always know that inside of you. you this is power to do anything. Fairy or not, right? Mm hmm All right. Keep asking questions. You never know where you're going to fit in. Can I have that book? We'll see you soon. Bye. The preceding program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, 
board of directors, or underwriters.